Well, uh, at the moment, I'm pretty much screwed. Hey, you can see right there, they're sending an army right into Dutch Guinea. I can buy my way out. I can give this land up as well. I mean, I can't really do anything else. I have to have France not fighting me. I have to give up land. That sucks. Your nation could greatly increase its trade income by sending merchant ships known as Indiamen to other continents. There are special trade oh, we got plug in the of Africa. This panel is used to research new technologies that will enable your nation to gain advantage over its rivals. To begin, Coming simply back. select the item you wish to research. The presence of a gentleman or scholar will go. speed up the process. Hmm. What I need to do is get France. This panel enables you to view this. Shut up. Hmm. France is a bunch of assholes. Here's what I can do. Regions can be ceded to. Get that. It's probably a bad idea, but there goes the Indian theater. So it needs to be known, and Prussia's getting a dominance where I don't want them to having dominance. You can attack a fleet belonging to another nation when it is within the highlighted area. Right click on a fleet to engage in naval. Use missionaries to spread the word of I your don't need him. to Shut every. Man, she is such a prick. Well, you have no use but to die there. I'll send you in there so you can die. Not just die in the middle of the woods. Um, hmm. Oh, now we're at war with just two nations. Right click to move your army <laughs> oh, to any funny. part of the highlighted area. Attack by right clicking Whoa. on a rival's army or city. Merge with a friendly army by moving to the same spot. Board a fleet at a coast. Obedience to the system of government Taxes. within a nation is measured in public order. If unhappiness begins to outweigh happiness and state repression at any point, move you then there is the unrest. Can lead to this is like the only VOC infantry I may ever have, so this is like the elite kind of, I guess you'd say, three militiamen, which I don't know, I have enough to get three militiamen stationed. Shut by a oh. up! Right, let's go attack them. Hell off my land. Save it just in case, because I think I'm going to auto-fight this. Oh, that's why you auto fight things. That is why you auto fight things. The history of the present King of Great Britain, the history of repeated injuries and assertions of all having direct objects establishing of an absolute tyranny. I don't know how I lost that. I guess I'll fight them. Fight him. To be prepared for war is one of the most effectual means of preserving peace. George Washington. He's a good person. I like him. He was one of my favorite, even though that's very cliche to say. For America! A straight line of units is not always the best formation. Hmm. Well, it's raining. In the winter and snow. So. I mean, in reality, this would probably be the shittiest weather. But you know, since it's a game and all, it just makes everything easier on me. Artillery is able to target an area of ground whether or not enemy troops occupy it. In this way, it can deny areas of the battlefield to the enemy. Flush out hidden units or destroy defenses. Select any unlimbered artillery and right click on an area of ground to bombard it. Well, 
There goes 10 of their units already, so GG. Okay. Oh, shoot. taking place here in this kind of scale. The best part of this, though, is their militia. This is what happens. Get their asses from bombarding that bar like here. I guess. See, it's confusing. There we go. Punch Killing in the their dick. general will deliver a heavy blow to the enemy. Not really in this game. Shogun though destroys like the army. Like you want to do the the uh, Macedonian hook around hammer hammer and anvil maneuvering on their general. Get these effective. No lie. I love these kind of battles. Yeah, taking balls. My troops are taking balls. Shoot. Halt their bombardment before they. How is this going to work? Let's put you guys. Let's see. 108 men versus 62. Let's see who wins. Bayonets versus shitty militia dudes. For the Europa Republic! Bodyguards are fighting pretty hard, hardcore. Oh, crap, there goes one of my guys. Oh, and another. Damn. Still one more. Just get Albert, no, Mr. Katir. This is what I like to call the hammer and anvil tactic. Made by, used a lot by Macedonians here, and didn't even finish because we destroyed him so much. just routed their army, we didn't exterminate them like we should have, but yeah, whatever. Win's a win. North WP. And over. I'm totally botching like every name. I feel like so Um, something. Still something you know too. Measure of a man's character is what he could do if he. Uh, never mind. Can't read that either. So we lost 161 men to so the original 400. Now they're in Amsterdam. Another main. As your population increases, villages. Victory! Get, get killed, Hanover. Trick gained. 
Courageous leader. Oh, that's good. Units that have suffered losses in battle or whose equipment has been. General needs everything. Nope. Funds no are deducted from your. Well, we've depleted Hanover. How's the government popularity going? Still sucks. That's how the cookie tumbles, or cookie crumbles, not tumbles. Spain's a bunch of assholes. Man. We're trying the good old... And he's now trying to assassinate me. Wow. Wow. Man, what a bunch of dickbags. Oh, Sweden got into Moscow. That's one thing I noticed. And they're going to raid our route. Oh, they're pulling in for an attack. Well, this is interesting. Small skirmish of 246. Give it a try. One hurt. Altamia Ratio Regum, the final argument of kings, inscription of the French canons by order of Louis XIV. A drink of my water. Well, we obviously have a small ass army here. It's a bit organized. Cavalier to what I want to try and do. This is a very dangerous uh, maneuvering, as I'd say. screwed myself over there, but totally ignoring the terrain. Pull up a little faster. 